Hello there friends and welcome back for another mod review. Today I got an awesome mod pack to review for you guys. This is called the Huge Cat Pack. File size 191.29 megabytes. Now it's a pretty big file but there is 16 zip files inside here. 16 separate mods. So I'm going to be showcasing all of these and I'm going to be testing out most of them. So sit back, relax guys. Let me walk you through this and if you guys like this for yourself I'm going to leave the link right on down in the description for you guys to download for yourselves so yeah like i said what we're going to do is take a look at a few things we're going to go over the shop and check out some of the specs and then i'm going to get them out on the field and test them out so we're going to start back here with this guy now just a couple of things to go over with you guys first before we get started like i said when you download the first file you will have to crack open that first zip file and take out all 16 zip files and put them on in your folder now when you're starting up your game you know how you have to put a check mark on all your individual mods well instead of doing that 16 times press the deselect all button then press deselect all again and it'll re-click all of the mods so you don't have to click them all on individually it'll do it all for you so once again when you load up the game don't you don't have to click on each individual mod just press deselect all and then press it again and it'll select all of the mods that are on that page for you so I do believe that's about it that I had to go over before we get started uh, this is a farming simulator 13 mod and it was converted over to farming simulator 17 by Winston 9587 and he's also a modder that worked on that uh, big Tony's map that I reviewed the other day he's a really good modder he does a really good job with his mod so let's get started here guys now we are going to start with this guy this is a cat excavator version 3.0 Price in the shop is $198,285. Pretty nice looking, not too bad at all. Daily maintenance fee is $205. Speed limit is 14 kilometers an hour. Yes, it's pretty slow and it has a capacity of 10,000 liters. So let's jump on inside and we'll test a few things. We'll start it up. There's beacons on it. I used to test the horn. Okay, I don't believe there's any signal lights or even lights in general I don't think so anyway oh yeah we got a little bit of light there very good and the controls are the same as like your scorpion king and stuff your left mouse button will allow you to do that side to side we'll pivot like so okay so let's take a look inside the cab oh I can't look down any further than that that's kind of weird I can't turn my head any further to the uh, right for some reason Hmm, I didn't notice that before. It's not like you have to, but it just seems it's weird that it stops right there. Yeah, the uh, inside's not all that great. But, that is the Cat Excavator. Okay, let's jump on out of here and we'll move over to the next one. This is a dump truck. The Caterpillar Dump Truck, 725A. The price in the shop is 180000 with a $120 a day maintenance fee. The power is 227 kilowatts with 309 horsepower. Speed limit is 84 kilometers an hour with a capacity of 50,000 liters. Pretty nice looking vehicle. And it, these all have the pivot in the middle. So I'll show you what I mean, like so. They look really nice in the inside. And they do have some IC controls, but not a whole lot. But I'll just show you the IC controls for one vehicle, and then I'm going to skip the rest because it's all the same. So as you can tell, open and close door is left control and Z try that see the door open there okay left control and keypad 8 to fold that seat there I always like this extra stuff that they throw in it always makes it so much nicer open the window with uh, left control keypad 7 okay and what was next I do believe that's it yeah okay alright so that's it for that speedometer works that's cool so we're gonna be testing this out momentarily I just wanted to get a little look at it for right now pretty nice looking vehicle so I do believe that's about it for that we'll test out the lights and stuff very quickly you can see that the beacons work there horn works great signal lights and hazards are gone good and the lights work just fine okay next This here is a fertilizer spreader. 
The CAT 725A fertilizer spreader, the price in the shop is $180,000 with a $120 a day maintenance fee. The power is 227 kilowatts and 309 horsepower. Max speed is 84 kilometers with a capacity of 25,000 liters. So we're going to be testing this out as well. We'll just get a quick little look at it here. I'll unfold it so you can get a look at that. Not too sure what the work width is, guys. I don't believe it lists that, but we will look at these over at the shop before we uh, before we wrap things up. But there it is there. Let's quickly test the horn and the lights and stuff. Very good. And pretty much all the interiors are identical, but we'll take a look on the inside anyway. How are the lights? Lights work? Yes. All that stuff is good. Is good. So, yeah. It's a little tiny... Uh, interior on it can't fit another person in there though okay very cool so next we have this guy and this is a slurry spreader this is the cat 725a liquid slurry spreader the price in the shop is 180,000 with a $120 day maintenance fee. The power is 227 kilowatts with 309 horsepower. Max speed is 84 kilometers and a capacity of 25,000 liters. So I'm not going to bother showing you the inside of that, guys, because it'll uh, just prolong. But I am going to test that out by filling it up and spraying it so you'll be able to see all that stuff. So we'll just move right on to the next one. This is the Caterpillar 725A Manor Spreader. And I actually forgot to write down some stuff. Sorry about that, guys. But we will check that out over at the shop. Let us go over there right now. So everything is nicely categorized in one category. I hate when they have a mod pack and they category, categorize it like each thing is in. Because you got to look around for everything. Right here, it's all in one shot. So all 16 are right here. So let's find that manure spreader and we'll check that out. Okay, there it is there. Costs 180,000, 84. Yeah, it doesn't say the work width on these, unfortunately, but pretty much all the horsepower and everything's all the same right across the board with these. So, okay, next up we have this guy. I do believe this guy's just a regular tanker. Yes, it's a Caterpillar 7, or uh, yeah, 725A tanker. Capacity is 20,000 liters, and all the specs are the same as the other ones. So in case you forgot, like 227 kilowatts, 309 horsepower, holds 25,000 liters. Okay, then we have these two huge uh, front loaders, or whatever you want to call them, just uh, huge tractors. Okay, so this is, the first one is the Cat 980H Articulated Loader. The price in the shop is $582,000 with the $340 a day maintenance fee. The power is 335 kilowatts and 456 horsepower. So it's pretty ramped up. 43 kilometer max speed and a capacity of 25,000 liters. So we will take a look inside this one, test out a few things. I think this one might have lights on it. Yes, it does. Very good. Okay, horn. Good. We have hazards and stuff, no signal lights or nothing like that, no. Okay, let's take a look at the inside. Uh, inside's not great at all, but it'll serve the purpose, I guess. Not too bad, I've seen worse. I mean, the paint jobs on these, you can tell they're all like a duller color, but the I love the cat equipment, I really do. So these two almost look identical. I don't really know what the difference is, to tell you the truth. But this is the Cat 980H AWS Loader version 3. The price in the shop is $582,000. Uh, daily maintenance fee is $340. Power is 335 kilowatts, 456 horsepower. Max speed of 43 kilometers and a capacity of 25,000 liters. The exact same as the other one. So, like I said, I'm not going to bother going over that because... That's the exact same as the other one. Now, some of these semis are really nice, man. So, let me just look here. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Okay, it is this one here. Check this semi out, guys. What a beautiful looking semi. And it drives like a dream, too. Quad axle. Nice. Very sharp looking. So, let's go over this. This is the Cat Actros VL Semi. 
The price in the shop is $225,185 with a $245 a day maintenance fee. The power is not listed, guys, unfortunately, but it has a max speed of 98 kilometers an hour. And those big overhead lights don't turn on for some reason. Don't know why, but I have to tell you something, too, about that manure spreader back there. I can't, I couldn't use my conveyors on this map to fill it up. I actually have to use a front loader or I used a uh, wheel loader to load it up. So it will work. It's just some of them triggers. I don't know. It's a little picky. But we'll be taking a closer look at all this as well. So the lights are on, as you can see. I'll turn them off again. The, yeah, I can't get those big overheads on for some reason, but that's the way it goes, I guess. Oh, cool horn. Okay, let's try out our uh, signal lights and our hazards. Good to go. Let's look inside the cab. Not too bad looking. Speedometer doesn't work, unfortunately. So, there you go. I don't see any added features up in the top left-hand corner as far as uh, tool buttons. But, let's jump on out and we will push on. So, we have a low rider here. Or a low loader, I should say. Uh, actually, we're going to go over to the tanker first. Because I kind of got these mixed up. There's no logos or anything on the side of this. I don't think there's CAD on this, is there? No, unfortunately not. But very nice tanker, and that'll hold pretty much anything, guys. It even holds like liquid honey, so that's really cool. So this is the Cat Liquids Transport Tanker. The price in the shop is $150,000 with a $25 a day maintenance fee. Capacity is 70,000 liters. And it, you can get this with the back attacher, so you can attach two together. And like I said, it'll it'll do. You can load honey in this, honey and honey milk, everything. So everything is right there. So just let me turn my page here, guys, because I have like three pages of notes here. So I'm sorry if this is a little sloppy, but I didn't want to miss any details. So the dolly is next. Here we go. So everybody knows what this is for. You can attach that to a tractor so you can pull some of the bigger trailers and uh, tankers and stuff. This is the Cat Dolly. The price in the shop is $5,000 with a $5 a day maintenance fee. That's about all I can say for that. So next we have the flatbed. And that's this one here. I do believe that's it. Yes, that is it. Okay, this is the Cat Flatbed Trailer. The price in the shop is fifty thousand, and the daily maintenance fee is fifteen dollars a day. This doesn't have the auto load feature, unfortunately, but you can still use it to uh, transport things around. So, okay, next up we have the Cat Kenworth K100 Semi. This semi here, it's a little bit different. It's not quite as uh, pimped out as that one, but it still looks really cool and drives really well too. So we'll take a little bit better of a look at that in one second. Like I said, this is a Kenworth. The Cat Kenworth K100 Semi. The price in the shop is $85,775 with a $10 a day maintenance fee. The power is 324 kilowatts and 440 horsepower. Max speed is 165 kilometers an hour. So this thing can boogie. So you can see the lights are all on and everything already. Try out the horn. Good. How about the uh, signal lights and hazards? Good to go. Do we have brights? You know, we, get, we can't get those ones on the grill working for some reason, but let's take a look inside the cab. Oh, nice looking interior. This is a lot better. Yeah, this is much better. It's not perfect, but it's much better than the other interiors. And uh, let's see if that speedometer works here. No, the speedometer don't work, unfortunately, but see the uh, hazards work and signal lights and stuff, so very good. What do we got? A fog light. Oh, maybe. Okay, let's try that. Fog light with five. Okay, there we go, guys. It's keypad five. Maybe that was on the other one. I just didn't notice it, but there they are there. That's cool. I like how they're a different color, too. Tip cab. Oh, cool. I didn't even notice that feature last time. Okay. So, left door, right door, 7 and 8. Very cool. Tip cab, fog light. Very cool. Okay. So, that got lots of features on it. Very nice. Okay, next. We had the semi. Now, the low loader. Now, this and the low loader over here has a gooseneck on it. And it got a pretty cool shape to it. I like this. 
This is the cat low loader. The price in the shop is $50,500 with a $5 a day maintenance fee. And that's about it for that. I will hook up to it. You can see there's some cool little beacons on it. And, uh, it's really low to the ground. All kinds of, uh, got a quad axle in the back. Very cool looking uh, low loader, I must say. So we'll hook up to that. And like I said, it got a gooseneck on it, so that's cool. Then we have this cat trailer over here. Tipper. Looks cool. I love the tires on these too, if I didn't mention that already. This is the cat trailer. Price in the shop is $48,700 with an $80 a day maintenance fee. And the capacity is 70,000 liters. And like I said, you can get the back detachers for this. And you can attach as many as you want together. And it has the canvas top on it too. So with the end key, you can uh, get rid of that if you want. Then last but not least, number 16, we have this Caterpillar D7R Bulldozer. The price in the shop is $385,000 with a $0 a day maintenance fee. The power is 158 kilowatts with 215 horsepower. Capacity is 25,000 liters and has a max speed of 14 kilometers an hour. So let's quickly jump in here. We'll check out a couple of things. What's key bad four for? Okay, you can get rid of that. That's different. Okay, so no added functions there. Let's try the horn. No doubt we got headlights. Oh yes, we do. Okay, signal lights. No. And what about fog lights? No, those ones must turn on with the regular lights, do they? Yes, they do. Okay, guys. So, that is that. Let's go over the shop. We'll take a quick look at them before we go out and test a few of these. So, like I said, they're all lined up here in a pretty little line. 16 of them right in a row. And they're all in one category, so you'll be uh, happy to know they won't be hard to find. I really like that. I'm going to be adding some of these. But another cool thing about this mod, guys, is the fact that they're all individual mods. You can select what ones you want and boot the rest out. You know what I mean? Keep what ones you want and then take the rest out of your folder. I'm not going to be using all these, but I'm certainly going to be using ones like that. Maybe that tanker. A couple of different ones, you know what I mean? But uh, like I said, yeah, you don't have to use all 16 of them, so the file size won't be that large. So let's jump over and test some of these out. Okay, first up we have the fertilizer spreader. I got her over by the refill. Let's put some in there. I just want to show you guys that this does indeed fill up all right. So yeah, if I had one complaint about these, I wish they'd fix up the paint job so it's like a shiny, nice paint instead of that dull color. But besides that, beautiful mods man just unbelievable I remember reviewing this for uh, Farming Simulator 15 and I just fell in love with it I, I loved it awesome idea and it adds uh, a little bit of variety to your map so let's quickly take this out and we'll give it a, a test spray and we'll move on so like I said I'm not going to be testing out every single one of them but 10 of the 16 I will be. It's more of the construction gear, like the, uh, all that construction gear. I won't be testing any of that out. There's nothing I can really test on it anyway, unless I just scoop up some manure or something, but that's all right. You guys get the idea. So let's unfold this and check this out. Yeah, a couple of extra decals on the side, a few more pumps and hoses and stuff. That would look all right good, man. Okay, let's turn it on. There we go. I don't think you're going to be able to tell if it's spraying or not here, but... Indeed, we can see it working. Cool. So sometimes when you're turning, if you're on a dead stop and you go to turn and pull away at the same time, it'll kind of gets hung up there for a second, so you got to straighten it back out, then you're good to go. Okay, so that works just great, guys. Let's fold that back up and we will test the next one. And these things hold everything too. Like it's just, I showed you some of the things that can, these things can hold. Like, look, that tanker can hold like honey milk, honey, water, gas, or diesel, I should say. Uh, that one just holds that. Look at the things that thing can hold. Look, they're right off the page over here. Like uh, everything. Even these, huh? Even that could scoop up anything. So, yeah, just to let you know that these will work with anything. Which is always a bonus. Okay, next one, guys. This is our Surrey Spreader. 
suck up some slurry here and we'll check this out. Does he ever look small in the in the uh, cab in there, doesn't he? Looks like a little kid. <laughs> okay. So I'm not gonna take this guy right out onto the field. Because I don't the stuff is grown there anyway, you're not really gonna see it. So uh how do you get this going? There it is there. See, I'm not sure what the work width is. It doesn't say what it is, but you can see it indeed works. These things have an 84 max speed, but I find they take a little while to get going. Like, they take a while to build up speed. Can I open that thing in the back, I wonder? No. I was hoping I could open that lid, but... That is your slurry tanker. The way to tell this from the uh, liquid tanker is the hose in the back. So as you can see guys, that works just great. Okay, next up, we have this semi hooked to this tanker. And I'm putting water in it as you can see right now. Got a nice little digital display right on the side there. Very cool. One on that side too. Is there any in the back? No, but it says Caterpillar on the license plate. I like that. Yeah, beautiful mods. Beautiful mods. I'll be adding some of this to mine. The tires make it stand right out as well, so. So I forget what the, I said this holds. Like 70,000 liters, I do believe. Yeah, 70,000 liters, guys. So, let's take this guy for a whirl, because I want to try this. So what one was those lights again? Fog lights. This keypad 5. How come I can't get them on now? Unless they're just the ones in the front. No. Maybe I have to have my regular lights on first. I'm pressing keypad 5 and it's not working. Okay. Anywho. I want to take this for a little spin. Show you how this semi works. Doesn't help having a whole tanker full of liquid behind me, but the steering's a little tight, but it's not all that bad. It doesn't seem slippery or anything, so you just got to give yourself a little time to turn. So for the most part, that's pretty awesome. Okay, next up we have the manure spreader. So. I, you can see I already put a scoop in there. You do have to use the bucket because I tried to fill it up and it wouldn't do it at the uh, conveyors and at the BGA it wouldn't work, the pipe, so it will work with the front loader though. And there you go. That looks like you got a wider work width with the other ones. I really do wish it said there guys like what the work width on is that, of that is but it doesn't it doesn't say what it is at all. You can see that works just great. Awesome. Okay, so the the manure spreader works just fine. I went to the wrong one now. Let's go back. Okay, next we have the tipper and the other semi. Now this is the one I want to try the lights. Does this one have the fog lights too? I don't see them there. No, unfortunately this one doesn't. Front work light, work light rear. Let me try that. They're not working at all. See, I don't want to waste too much time with them. Let's take this for a roll. Look how powerful this thing is. Now it's no 700 horsepower, but it's definitely pretty powerful. Okay, let's uh, take that down. We'll throw some grain in this sucker. Yeah, I really like that uh, semi. I'm going to be adding that to mine for sure. For sure. Now, while that's filling up, I can mess around with the lights. See if I can get that going. Uh, keypad 7 and 8. No. Not working for some reason. Close cover stop filling. Uh -huh. Nope. Can't get them working. Okay. We can see that works just fine. Oh, I turned it off by accident. Okay. 
check out the animation of that opening up. Oh, let's get back here a little bit. There we go. Yeah, there's just so many mods to cover here, guys. 16 of them. Okay. So, I do believe all that is left is the dump truck for us to test out. And I'm just going to test that out with the, uh, with putting some grain in it right here. And then we can check out the animation of it unfolding. Or, uh, emptying out, I should say. Yeah, I was happy when I seen this, because I really remember this one from, uh, from Farming Simulator 15, and it was awesome. I loved it. I always used it. Look at all the vehicles and, the, and implements in my yard, guys. Look down the bottom left-hand corner. Holy. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, let's dump it. The whole back lifts up. Awesome. They did a really good job with this, I must say. And all the prices are pretty realistic, too, in the daily maintenance fees. So that's all uh, pretty legit, too. So let's pull out of here. And we will wrap this up. Okay. Oh, let's hit the speed mod. So there you have it, guys. Let me get back to my notes here. That was the huge cat pack version 1.0, the file size 191.29 megabytes. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And guys, the uh, links will be down in the uh, description below as well as additional information. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon is just below that, guys, if you'd like to help contribute to a smaller channel. So, guys, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.